Okay guys, so I'm here to talk some NBA and more specifically I said this topic numerous times numerous times in several other videos but I feel like this topic needs a video of its own and this is probably the final time I'm gonna mention it. Now, today's topic is why the Marcus Cousins is already better than Gray Howard. Now, the reason why I say this is because I believe Gray Howard is already past his prime. And you may be thinking I'm crazy. That's a normal reaction. But, hear me out. Gray Howard's basketball game is based on agility and athleticism. And when you have back issues, typically your back limits you from using the agility and athleticism. I personally believe the Houston Rockets are going to get the L.A. Gray Howard instead of the Orlando Magic Gray Howard because of this. I mean, if Gray Howard had a little post-game, maybe he'll be able to get Gray Howard. Maybe they'll be able to get the Gray Howard a boy angle, but as of right now, he has no no post game to speak of. Like I said, I believe the Houston Rockets are gonna get basically the seventeen point one points per game and twelve Point four rebounds per game, Great Howard, instead of the 20 points per game and the 14 rebounds per game, Great Howard. Just because I think back injuries will always be recurring. That never gets fixed. Now, Getting to the Marcus Cousins. The Marcus Cousins is going into his fourth year in the league. He's 22 years old. He'll be 23 during the season or before the season. And nobody talks about the Marcus Cousins. But the Marcus Cousins has the total package. He's the second best big man behind Go King Noah of handling the basketball. He can dribble the ball up the court. He also has a fake face up game. He shoots about a 17 foot gumper, and he had a low post game. And his numbers were comparable to that of Gray Howard last year. So if you look at both Gray Howard and the Marcus Cousins' skill set, I think the Marcus Cousins already has a better skill set and he'll dominate for the next 8 to 10 years since he's only 22 years old. Let's take a look at the Marcus Cousins' numbers. The Marcus Cousins out here averaged 
17.1 points per game with 9.9 rebounds. And for his career, he got averaging 16.3 points per game with 9.8 rebounds. And if you compare that to Gray Howard right here, Gray Howard had 17.1 points per game with 12.4 rebounds. So their numbers are already comparable. And I think, like I said, Gray Howard will never regain his Orlando form, basically because of the back injury. He might have some gay point games. He might have some flashes of the Orlando Great Howard, but his back will keep him from achieving that for a full year. Again, I'm going to give you his best year in Orlando. Great Howard's best year in Orlando uh, was hmm, 2010 2011. He averaged 22.9 points per game and 14.1 rebounds. I think he'll never achieve that just basically because I think his game is based on athletic agility and athleticism. And I think when you have back issues, your back limits you from using your agility and your athleticism. Now, if Graham will develop a, develop a post game, I still don't think he'll be better than the Marcus Cullings, just based on the back is, issue. I think the back issue is going to limit him for, for the rest of his career. I think even though he said his back is recovered, recovering, that's always a recurring thing. The final point I'm gonna say is the Houston Rockets basically gave Gray Howard a tw 20 million per year contract. And the market cutting is only getting 40, 4 million this year. And I think once he gets into the open market, he's going to get about 10 to 12 million, basically because of his attitude issues. I'd rather have a guy with similar numbers earning 10 to 12 million and basically giving me the same numbers than a guy who's earning about 20 million and is basically comparable to that of a 10 to 12 million dollar guy. That's it for right now, guys. Peace.